Yeah, two groups. Wow, that's a bigger group. We'll check that out for sure. Yeah, they split. Okay. Well, good afternoon. Good afternoon, everybody, and thank you for joining us on the web. This is Gil Levis in News Chopper 4 Bravo, along with my pilot, David Viscovich. We are over the Fairfax District. You're looking at one of the protests that are going on in the Southland. A very large group that has gathered here uh, started at Pan Pacific Park near the Grove and has moved to streets, has been marching through the streets since the protest started. You see a large amount of people on, um, this is 3rd Street near Edinburgh Avenue. And you see protesters standing on police cars. There's someone trying to bash out the window of that police car, so come into a closer shot. And there, with a cone, a traffic cone, uh, this guy is pounding on the window. Here's a little pushing and shoving going on. It looks like that. Uh, okay, copy that. Thank you. We're seeing now that these police cars have been vandalized. A tagging on them. Their windows are broken out. The front windshield of that one's broken, as well as the rear windows broken out. David, let's orbit and let's get closer and put it on your side so you have it. Um, make it easier for you. We can do right orbits around it. I can tell you there's a, a large group here at 3rd and Edinburgh. There's other groups in this area off of Beverly. That is a uh, North Hollywood division of LAPD units there, those two, and the one on the right is Hollywood Division, uh, all of which are being vandalized, tagged, and you see they're actually in the back and front of the cars. This is a uh, mission division unit there that is in the center of the screen. Every squad car that's on this street has been vandalized. You see the line of officers there that uh, started their skirmish line, but the protesters are standing strong. I come out, I'll come out to a wide shot to get, give you an idea of how many people are here in this group.
It looks like uh, 11 squad cars from LAPD that have been vandalized in this group. The police have pushed the group away from several of them, but there's about eight of them still, or seven or eight of them in the mix there with the protesters. People up on the civilian vehicle there, it looks like that one isn't uh, too damaged. That's the farmer's market there and the grove to the left of it. Third and Fairfax at that intersection is uh, barely open. People up on the city bus there. More people pouring towards those squad cars, the big group there. I'm sorry, Dave, say that again. Uh, yes, sir, I do, thank you. Officers, officers firing what looks like maybe pepper balls or less lethal to get the people to move away. Items being tossed at the officers, so we're seeing more of the same that we saw yesterday, last night. Adam, I do have you, yes. Yes, uh, who's the anchors? Is it Kathy or just me? Thank you. Thank you.
That's exactly it, uh, Jonathan and Kathy. You're looking at a large group here on 3rd Street, just west of Fairfax. It's at Edinburgh right now. And as I zoom out here, you're going to see about 11 squad cars from the LAPD, different divisions there that have been vandalized within this group. The LAPD has been struggling with this group to push them back. They've gained some ground, but you see how much destruction has been done to these vehicles. I can tell you that there's a, a lot of tagging on the vehicles and and some curse words, so we're going to keep it kind of wide. So was the group here is standing their ground against the officers as they slowly move them back towards the east, back towards where this protest started at the Pan Pacific Park near the Grove. Uh, but again, LAPD out in force here with a large group that is uh, failing really to move. You see the officers there trying to shove them back towards the east and the demonstrators just standing their ground. We're seeing uh, items being thrown at the officers much like we did yesterday and last night. But again, uh, a lot of vandalism here to those 11 squad cars from different divisions of LAPD. And here we go. He's seen some of the group moving out. But again, uh, this is how it's been uh, for the last several days. And you're seeing the people starting to move out and move into this parking lot. And Gil, there on the right side, if you tilt it down to the right at the bottom of the screen, you see that squad car there on fire, literally in flames right now. Um, we haven't seen that before, have we? You know, last night uh, after our news coverage ended, uh, there was a, a squad car I heard on the scanners that was set on fire. I don't know uh, the status of that situation, but uh, I'm hearing my, my pilot, David Diskovich, is pointing out another fire. Uh, we'll try to, I'll try to get eyes on that, but for now, well, at least one squad car here, like you said, Kathy, uh, on fire. That just started. When we arrived here, that squad car was not on fire. That is something new as the uh, crowd now. Uh, if anything, that, that fire is dispersing the crowd, making people move. So that's probably helped the LAPD to clear this area. But unfortunately, they're losing one of their squad cars from well, uh, North Hollywood Division. That's what brought my attention to it, is that I saw all the people running. And we just want to say apologize to our viewers uh, right now that you're going to see profanity here because it's just been a symptom of what's going on. And we apologize ahead of time. But we're here to cover what's happening. And right now, this is the intense spot. That car is on fire. You're seeing a lot of black smoke. Yeah, fortunately, Kathy, it's far enough away from the other vehicles. I think it won't be a problem. However, there are some shops here, businesses uh, close by. The fire department will have a difficult time getting access to this because of what's going on on the street. As you see, it's kind of right in the middle of all those squad cars, so it's going to be tough to get uh, a fire department there. Look at this intersection here off to the uh, west. You see more people there. And then down off of 3rd and uh, Fairfax here, uh, at the intersection, section is shut down so really no good access for the fire department to get in there to put that fire out so at this point we have uh, one squad car on fire yeah, this was a protest that started uh, led by the black lives matter movement uh, scheduled for noon today at nearby as you mentioned Gil, at pan pacific park we saw hundreds maybe even more than a thousand people and maybe a few different groups making their way towards this intersection here at third and edinburgh third and fairfax in that area uh, but as you mentioned we didn't we only saw maybe a few hundred there right up, up above up against those police officers against that line where are all the other protesters right now okay well um, sorry Jonathan I was getting some information here I'm gonna come out of this shot and I understand there's another uh, fire burning here we're gonna try to get you that in okay. fact uh, David I'm gonna ask you to put it on my side for a second so I can see out your side uh, as I come out to a wider shot uh, we're going to look for that fire, but right now, here's the scene uh, through a wide shot. That's the uh, Grove and the Farmer's Market, Pan Pacific Park, uh, there at the top of the screen. And as I try to get eyes on the next fire here momentarily, I will... Uh I see it now. Thank you. Uh, we're going to pan up to Beverly here, uh, over across to, I believe it's Beverly, and uh, I think it's also Edinburgh. Let me zoom in here, uh, and yeah, we have we another vehicle. Fire. Yeah, so another, and it looks like it is another squad car, unfortunately, that is on fire uh, once again. Now, this one's burning a little bit closer to some uh, buildings there, and uh, so two squad cars about, uh, about half a mile away from each other that are on fire, the two separate groups. In fact, there's about uh, three or four separate groups. So, um, 
Like, yeah. It looks like a, a squad car that was trying to pull out. It, it's parked there. I don't know. Um, look, a door looks like it's open. That is completely engulfed right now. Any uh, police in this area that you can see, Gil, or where are anywhere in this area? Yeah, let me look. At, I haven't had the chance to look at uh, at this street here, but uh, Beverly Boulevard. Uh, it looks like there really isn't, uh, at least to the west here. Let me look.